I don't know if you were online over the weekend, but, um, you know, I think you might have seen a certain term, shrinkage, trending on Twitter for a while. Or maybe you saw a moment where everybody was posting a clip of somebody who decided, I don't know if you've ever been into like a Bass Pro Shop or a Cabela's. These are stores in America that are big outdoor stores, fishing rods, reels, canoeing. And usually they have these big aquariums full of freshwater fish that you might see in the area. It's a cool thing to see when you're a kid and it's cool when you're an adult. You know, like I've never caught a Northern before, so I like to go see Northerns. You know, one day when I get time to fish, it'd be cool. I'll go get a sturgeon or something crazy um, or a muskie, but you can see them you see some largemouth bass, things like that, swimming around in these big tanks. Now, there was a moment that everybody shared in which a man uh, disrobed, cannonballed into the Bass Pro Shop's uh, fish tank, completely in his birthday suit, pressed himself up against the front of it, and let's just say there was some shrinkage. And when he got out of the tank, he fell and, cr and split his head open <clears throat> and got knocked out. Now, here's the thing. It's going to take a bit of a dark turn, a more serious turn. I didn't want to dunk on this guy until I knew a little bit more. I think it was funny... Like if it really was like a streaker who uh, was doing this as a meme or something like that, I think that's hilarious. The sad thing is that's not what the case is for this individual. It turns out this individual is it was in a mental health crisis and everyone made fun of him. So I get it. Nobody had context. Like we didn't have the context. So it's like you see this video, and you're like, ha ha, look at this crazy person. Um, doing something wild, you know, but it turns out, and I want to, you know, just ruin the, I just want to ruin it for everybody. turns out this individual is in the middle of a, uh, mental health crisis because he was having a wild reaction to some meds that some lazy doctor put him on, which is, uh, really, uh, what's going on in our country. Now I can't show you any of the clip, but it's, it's like the guy runs. He's, I mean, he's completely in his birthday suit cannonballs swims around he is having a complete breakdown and it was because of a uh, terrible reaction to a new prescription that a lazy doctor put him on because that's what i mean it is funny okay i'm not gonna say it's not funny when you take just all the context out of it but what ends up happening is this guy's having some mental health issues. He is in the parking lot with his wife and child in the car. He purposely rams the car into a light pole, then uh, runs into Bass Pro Shop, strips down, jumps into the pond, and it turns out that this was a just say why I've never, I don't think I've ever really seen somebody like snap before, but that, I guess this is what that looks like. Footage circling online shows it in full after a fully birthday suited. Owens is said to have executed a cannonball from the top floor of Bass Pro Shops into the aquarium. The video then shows Owens while still treading water getting in a shouting match with officers who arrive on the scene. He hangs over the edge, eventually hurls himself over the side onto the cement floor, getting knocked unconscious. Cops get into a scuffle when, with Owens when he jolts awake and work painstakingly to put him in cuffs. At the still exposed, or as, the, as the still exposed suspect starts to simmer down, a bystander provides him with a blanket. The footage stops there. But officer says he was put in a cop car and hospitalized, briefly jailed, but is out on bond. The issue is, 
You see, Leeds Police Chief Paul Irwin on Friday explained how the incident occurred, while also revealing Owen's family had said he suffers from mental illness. The top cop said the suspect's episode began when he intentionally struck a pole in Bass Pro Stop Pro Shops Bass Pro's establishment parking lot while driving a car with his family inside. That's when he rushed inside the store to perform the cannonball leap. Irwin explained, culminating with him standing under the installment's waterfall before being reprimanded by responding officers. Owens at that point had actually exited the water to yell at officers. Irwin said before diving back in to egg them on, he was subsequently belligerent and adamant against going with officers. Now, I'm being careful about what images I can show here because I don't want to scar you guys with, uh, you know. This guy's got more problems than a small ween. He was very erratic and saying a lot of nasty things to the officers, Irwin said. Um, well, here's the truth of what happened. And, and, you know, like we can all have a laugh at it. You know, it, it, it's like an LSD freak out maybe. You know, I guess, I suppose that's something that you could compare this to. But I, I don't really know how in the heck, uh, you know, this part gets overlooked. And, you know, look, it's funny, okay, you're not a bad person for, for, for laughing. Um, but, well, by the way, we're live streaming right now, so I'll show you the video after, after the standalone video gets recorded. I think it's blurred out anyway. Um, mental health, and this is where it takes like a dark turn, especially in men. Uh, it's often ignored, ridiculed, forgotten, pushed aside. Things of that nature, because, you know, men don't want to appear vulnerable. Men don't want to, um, you know, talk about this kind of stuff and men get made fun of for it. Um, and, you know, if it, if it's a woman that did this, you know, be, be treated differently. Um, here's the reality. Here's from somebody who's on the scene. I admit that when I first heard about the guy taking, going down to his birthday suit and jumping in the aquarium at Bass Pro Shop, I chuckled myself. However, shortly after hearing about it, two people very closely related to me told me they witnessed the event. They not only witnessed the event, but were the only people in the parking lot when this occurred around closing time. They called 911 and checked on the wife and child who were part of the wreck prior to the man going into the store. Mental health is a serious issue, and I am confident the details will break your heart, just like it did mine. According to the wife, this guy did not have a history of mental health issues. He was recently diagnosed with a common mental health diagnosis, probably depression or seasonal whatever, I don't know, and had a horrible reaction to his meds. He was awaiting a new mental health appointment, but had to wait several months. It was the earliest they could see him. It's really scary. They are a typical middle-class family, and he is a veteran. It's not going to stop the laughs, but I wanted to give the other side. I can't stop thinking about the small child who stayed with my family members until grandparents arrived. Social media will never go away and all of their lives are forever changed. Let's pray for them. Feel free to share. Maybe this post can go as far as the videos and him in the aquarium. I think, you know, ultimately that's the thing. Like I think with, you know, so many things in modern day society, right? You're talking about a veteran here. Who may be having some PTSD, or um, you know, I, that's you know a common thing that they might be talking about. Um, the answer is always, a, you know, grab some pills, take some pills, and get out of my office. That'll be six hundred dollars. Um, and you're probably mad at me, and you say, you know, thanks for ruining. It. I understand. I understand why you might be mad that I ruined it for you, but I, I think it's still it's it's funny. Um, and it's if you just compartmentalize the incident, okay? And I really hope that this guy gets the help he needs um, and that he can go back and, like, laugh at this. You know, I would love nothing more than for this guy to, to get healthy, get his mental right, get his family right, and then, like, uh, post a meme of the, of the uh, George Costanza. I was in the pool! Um, you know, all the people making fun of him online, I don't think they're bad people because it's not like you could have known that I would have just as easily thought that this was some dude who was, you know, Bass Pro Shops are often in, in big malls. Maybe he was at the Rainforest Cafe and had like seven or eight daiquiris 
and got like pushed into do- or, or goaded into doing it or um you know it's all possible you know that it was just some drunk guy being a goofball and then all the ridicule would have been you know forever okay and forever like um you know warranted but men in particular uh you know they don't often get the help they need and then you layer in the fact that he was a veteran and he was probably just here's some pills get out of get out of my office i've got 15 other patients to see and i live off charging everybody the minimum or what or whatever office visit fees i know my doctor does that to me like sometimes he'll be like uh oh i i'll i need a refill for a prescription he'll be like oh i need to see you for that I've been on the same prescription for like five years. Why do you need to see me for it? Uh, yeah, I know why. So you can charge me $300 for an office visit. So, I mean, the whole system's screwed um, and, and it does suck, but I hope he does get help. And uh, I hope he can one day just own this and roll with it because that's the only way this video is not going to follow him around forever.